Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am starting out with freshly washed and blow dried hair as usual. And the first thing I'm going to do is part my hair from ear to ear because I'm going to be working um, on the top and the um, back part of my hair separately. So first starting out in the back, I'm going to create one row of individual plaits at the nape. Next, I'm going to create a second row of individuals. The first plait I'm, I make, I'm starting out by braiding from the corner. And as I braid, I'm going to pick up the end of the individual plait from the bottom and I'm going to add it into the braid. And once you're done, the corner of your nape should make a 90 degree angle. And here is what it looks like once I've added all of the plaits from the bottom into the second row. Next, I'm going to make an individual plait on the corner of each side of my head right behind my ear. Now that's done, I'm going to make another part from ear to ear, and then that row will also end up being a row of individuals. Using those individual plaits as a guide, I'm going to start corn rolling my hair straight to the back, and while doing so, I am grabbing the individual plaits from the top and adding it into that corn row as well as the individual plait on the side. All right, once you're done with that, this is what your first corn row should look like. Then we're going to move on to parting your second row. Now before I start plaiting, I'm going to take my crochet needle and I'm going to insert the crochet needle in the first corn row that I made. And then I'm going to take the end of the individual plait from the corner and I'm going to crochet that through the first braid so that the end of it can be included in the next row whenever I start to braid down. Okay, so this is what you should have so far, and I'm going to continue using that concept moving forward. So I'm going to now part for the third corn row to be braided. But before doing so, I'm going to take my crochet needle and I'm going to insert it into the braid um, adjacent to the area that I'm working on. But this time, I'm going to pull the end of the first corn row through the second corn row so that once I make my third corn row, it can be included in that section. All right, y'all, we are moving right along. So next, I want to again add the plaits from the bottom. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to thread the second individual plait from the bottom through the cornrows that I've made so that it can be included in the next section. And I'm basically going to continue to do that on both sides until I get to where I only have one more section of hair to braid. And of course, I don't want any loose ends hanging. So I'm going to take the remaining ends and I'm going to thread them so that the ends of it will again be included in the final cornrow that I'm going to make. Now that I've got all of those loose ends threaded so that they can be included in my last corn row, I'm going to go ahead and start plaiting my hair. And once I'm done with that plait, it will leave me with one loose end. So that loose end, I will um, thread through the rest of the corn rows until it is no longer visible.
All right, once I'm all done with the back, this is what it looks like. I have a very versatile braid pattern that will allow me to pull my hair in a ponytail or wear a half up, half down style. Okay, I will be installing these wavy Bahama locks in 18 inches. I'm gonna start out by crocheting the hair at the nape. And for the first two rows of individuals, I'm gonna be pointing the needle up. Now, whenever installing crochet braids, it is important that you point the needle in the direction that you want the hair to fall. And when you do this, it puts the knot on the inside of the braid rather than on the outside. So whenever I pull my hair up in a ponytail, it will allow for a more seamless look. And for the remainder of the back of my hair, I will be pointing the needle down. And like I said earlier, this will put the knot on the bottom side of the braid rather than the outside of the braid, which will allow the hair to lay flatter. All right, y'all, I am all done with the back, and this is what I have so far. It looks very, very good. I can already tell that it's going to come out great once I finish the top. So when I pull my hair up, it gives me a very natural look in the back, and it's not as obvious that I'm wearing crochet braids. All right, now moving on to the front. The first row on the side, I'm going to, again, make individual plaits. All right, for the next row, I'm going to use the zigzag parting method. And on all of my, per of my perimeter, I'm going to start out as individual plaits. And then I'll connect the ends of those plaits into my cornrows. So here I'm parting it and I'm going to plait it a couple times as an individual plait. And then I'll start my uh, cornrow going towards the back. But as I am going towards the back, I'm taking the end of the individual plait I made on the side and I'm adding it into that cornrow. And once I'm done with the first two rows, this is what it should look like. And I know you guys are probably wondering what I'm going to do with the loose end that's exposed, but I'll show you guys here in a second how I'm going to hide that. But until then, I will continue using the zigzag method throughout the front half of my hair until um, I have it all braided. Okay, y'all, so the hard part is finally over. I'm done braiding my hair, and this is what the front looks like. The zigzag parting um, will allow for a more realistic look whenever I finish crocheting my hair in, and I'm going to do that now, and I will be back to show you guys how I conceal those loose ends. Okay, now to hide the loose ends of my hair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by braiding in some loose crochet hair that is of a similar curl pattern of the ends of the crochet locks that I have in. So I'm going to extend my hair um, with this loose wavy crochet hair and um, you want to plait it all the way down until it's just past your hair and then that's probably a good stopping point. So here is the hair added in. Next, I'm going to take some Cuban twist hair and I'm going to split it in half. Now, you can use Cuban twist or the Marley twist hair, whichever you prefer. I'm going to take that and kind of detangle it with my fingers just to smooth it out a bit. Now, I'm going to insert the crochet needle at the base of the plait and I'm going to pull one half of the Cuban twist hair through and use the other half to wrap the braid with creating my own dreadlock.
And when I get to the end of the cube and twist hair, I seal the ends by creating a small knot and then I'll give the dread a little palm roll to create some friction to further seal the lock. And then I just take my um, razor and I thin the hair out a bit so it can better blend in with the rest of the crochet braids. And then to get rid of some frizz, I just add a little mousse. Alright y'all and I'm finally done so this is what the parting looks like the zigzag parting really makes the style look more realistic and again I can wear my hair in the half up half down style and I'm going to show you here what it looks like whenever I do that. And as you can see it looks pretty seamless normally with the crochet braid normal crochet braid pattern you cannot wear your hair in so many different ways but this pattern is very versatile and this is what it looks like whenever I pull my hair up in a ponytail and y'all please excuse that one strand I did not know it was hanging but um, anyway the hair is very full I think I use about three and a half packs of hair um, it can get big pretty easily so please be mindful of your spacing um, you will not need more than three and a half definitely not more than four packs of hair and here I'm just showing you I can part my hair anywhere I want to and y'all that's about it um, I hope this video was helpful I hope it um, I explained myself well and I hope you guys were able to easily follow the method that I used this style took me about three and a half hours to complete I will leave more information on the hair down below in the description box and if you guys have any comments or questions please do not hesitate to ask them down below in the comment section I try to be as responsive as I can and as always y'all I appreciate you guys support and watching this video and if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.